Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock's Repair Philippines. Welcome to episode 31 of an overhaul on a Bullock's Rex. Started cleaning some more of the parts here for the turret and had this plate here and I went ahead and polished it off a bit on the front and the back. Not too terribly much because eventually I'll be taking this camera back apart. I got some acetone in here and I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here and let it soak for a while. That way and get it clean from any type of debris that was on there before with the metal. So after that we'll go ahead and start reassembling the rest of the part of the turret and proceed with other things. All right so let's keep going. Okay I've already taken that part out of the uh, acetone, wiped it off, got it clean there from any debris and it's going to rust, so I'm going to have to go ahead and put some weapons oil on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But don't do it. It just, it's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get that going on. And wipe that on there instantly and automatically. If I don't, it's just going to, it's going to rust up. You can guarantee it's going to happen. All right, get the inside of here, all the way around. Around the perimeter here. I'll leave this part. Come back to it later. I just don't want to come back to any rust. Really irritating. And other things you got to do do it anyway. So there you go. You get the general idea. Like I say, if you don't do it, it will rust up. All right. We'll set that off to the side. Get on to other things. Okay, I've reassembled it here uh, in the film gate area. I've got a lot more to go, but I just wanted to show you. What originally happens is this. When you start filming, the film is pushed through here on this side. Goes all the way through to the other side, of course. But to those of you who are having stability issues after you've processed your film, here's what's going on. On this side right here, check for any type of scratches all the way through the plate here check for scratches and on the leaf springs as well because once the film comes up there's a little ramp right here on the plate if there's any type of scratches originally the correct process is that the film must be laid flat and follow all the way through being pushed by the claw if there are any type of scratches and abrasions rust corrosion then the film is going to buckle and that causes your stability issues. All right. So if you've just received in your Bolex, send it out for a full CLA. This is going to be at the dismantled here and totally cleaned and aligned is what's going to have to happen. Uh, also in particular, um, I've still got a lot more work to do with this camera. What happens on the leaf springs on the, uh, plate on the back right here there's going to be a sealant that you're going to put or the technician is going to put so I'll remove this put this out of the way the sealant will go around in here just a black sealant okay and then the leaf springs and the plate are put back right and that's what's going on straighter than that huh moving on all right the leaf springs check here here and all the way around if I look down inside of this little area here I've got some rust and corrosion I got to go ahead and clean some of that out and just some dirt this is going to be typical. All right. 
flip it around the back. That looks pretty decent, but still it's going to be a need of cleaning. So I'll take care of that. You do want to check previously to make sure that the spindle and the shutter work well. So give it a spin. Make sure everything works. Spins freely up in there. All right. So here's one thing. If you tend to have if you, especially if you just received your Bolex, you're having an issue with um, using the fader, and it's and it's tending to cause problems with your Rexo fader or locking up. And here's what's going on. You want to take it and check. Watch up in here. I'm going to pull this down for the fader. Okay. So once I've got that. And spin it and make sure and if it starts catching right in there let me show you what the issue is all right so here's the problem right here take a good look just up by my thumb there is a bracket at the end of my pencil eraser see that pointing right at it and it travels right on top of the silver fader knob when you spin this it wants to catch on that okay it's just going to have enough room to pass the fader to pass over the top of it if it's rusted, corroded, bent, then it's going to catch. All right? So make sure that doesn't happen. Okay? That's the issue with that. These tiny micro mini screws at the end of my pencil eraser right here, do check those. Check them for any type of lint, especially dirt or anything the lint is most important or any type of hair that may have uh, accumulated when you're putting all this together okay because if there's any type of and do this before you put the screws in and check it after because that lint once you start filming will travel up to the spindle gear right here and get wrapped around it and cause a lot of problems okay and you don't want that to happen okay and when you do this repair you're gonna need a tool here it is okay here's that tool you need a pair of watch repair magnifying glasses is what you'll need because you have to look at those tiny screws in order to insert them and put them in they do light up as you can see here on the sides and they move up so you can get them on all right so these are a must in order to make that repair. Okay, right here I have a little bit of something, either dirt or rust. Let's see what it is. Use a diamond file. And check that. And it's rust. So I'll work on getting that out. Get back with that. Inside of here, at the bottom here, clean all that dirt out. Use a pipe cleaner. Put that in there and pull it straight through. Same as on the other side. Do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe. Until next time, see ya.